Hey guys, it's Warboss Tay with you. As you can see, the horde is still here, but it's getting a little bit smaller because I pulled out and put the base coats on all of my thunderers. Hold on, let's get some focus. So these are the thunderers that I've got all the base coats on as well as painted the gold on the basing. I finished the basing and painted the gold nuggets and I also painted the gold onto all of their armor and body parts and weapons. Didn't do the eyes yet because the eyes come after the washes. But these guys are completely ready for their washes and I've got another 16 here that I did since yesterday that are just waiting for their gold details before we give them a wash. So I found when I was painting that that the single piece models, the ones from Battle for Skull Pass, I like them a lot more because their their detail is a lot easier I think to paint. The, like the if you can see the horns are a little bit smaller on their helmets. They're not as big as the two piece models. And they hold their guns close to their body so they're everything is molded perfectly whereas with a two piece this guy for example or with the multiple part model you're gonna have to figure out how to paint under the beards and get get into all the little nooks and crannies something that my uh, friend who had these dwarves that sold them to me also did was he put the shields on just about all the dwarves put these little shields on on their backs but he didn't do that for the battle for skull pass models so I took some extra shields and I just glued them to the backs of the single piece models just to give them some, you know, co consistency. So I put them on the hip where it felt like it shouldn't be on their backs. So like I said, all I have to do is paint the gold details for these guys and then I can give them a wash. And then they can join the ranks of my fully finished boys. I also want to show you that I started work on the Battle Standard Bearer. Oh, so sad. So I started work, I was painting, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, this is pretty cool, this is pretty cool. And then his nose came off. And I was like... I was like... What? So... I don't know if it's worth, worth fixing or if I should just send it back. Um, at this point though, I don't know, I might just give up on this guy and see if I can get a, a replacement model. I'll ask my friend who sold this to me if he still has a package or knows like the, the shipping number or whatever. Um, yeah, that's just, that's messed up. I mean, I was looking at his finger because his hand is kind of messed up. There's like some weird flashes and, and air bubbles on his hand. And I was like, what? Ugh. That's pretty disappointing. Okay, but here's my daily update for today. More Thunderers to join the guys that I already have. And more infantry waiting their turn. <laughs> so thanks for watching. By tomorrow, hopefully these guys should all be done, washed and highlighted and the blondes and gingers all painted up. I haven't started on that yet. I usually do that after the washes, so. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.